Hey guys, what is up? And I welcome each and every one of you to a new episode of my Heartstuck Adventures. In this one, I'm going to be busting out the Xerath in the mid lane. And the reason for that is because, well, first of all, I need AP champions to play. That's number one. And I feel like I need a mage, right? I need like a good mage to play. There's Karma, there's Rise, but I think Karma's boring, even though she's really good. And I still don't trust myself on the Rise. So I think Xerath is going to be the pick to go for right now in terms of mages. I think he's fantastic. I think he's strong. He's long range. This huge damage, great CC. Just the champion is, in general, really good. So I'm actually kind of sad I haven't played him sooner. Uh, but yeah, let's jump into it. If you guys enjoy, don't forget to hit that like button. But let's get into it. Let's win. Let's go. Get the mana back, baby. Nice, he has to recall. He's gonna TP back in 100% though. He has to. Motherfucker. Asshole. <laughs> this guy didn't give me that CS. Actually, TP's in the minion, so I don't get it. That's annoying. I want that minion, man. I want that minion back. Well, he's actually a half HP though already. What the fuck? Wait, that was not really worth it. Worth it for the TP. My mana. It's really bad. Like Zarath has a lot of mana issues, uh, I think. Up until you get Lost Chapter. Once you get Lost Chapter, it's fine. My only, like, I guess, quote unquote, scary part, I guess, of playing Zarath is well, I mean, the champion is pretty much 100% skill shots. Every single ability is a skill shot. Um, so in team fights, especially in crucial moments, if you just keep missing those really important skill shots, man, that's just, that's super tilting. So it's like, I don't know, he feels like a high risk, high reward player, or a champion rather, especially on your mental. Because if you land your skill shots, man, you start landing every skill shot. If you miss like even one of them though, you kind of start tilting almost, you know? And you start missing more. It's like Blitzcrank in a way, actually. Okay, yikes. I thought he was gonna ult. I, I guess we have to save it, makes sense. Timo's just pressing that W and running. Okay, I'm, I just start landing skill shots. You see what I mean though? Like, you miss one, bro, you start missing everything. That's a yikers. <laughs> Jesus. I need to start landing some of those. I just wanna get this plate and get the fuck out if I can. I think Sejuani's on her way top, so I'm not even gonna bother using any abilities on this Timo. I'm just gonna run. Bro, this Aurelia is getting so desperate with these dives, like, I don't, she's getting, oh god, he's forcing these really, 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 really hard and awkward plays, like, that's, like, super high risk. I mean, they were all walking around, like, no HP too, did he just mess something up? Like, I don't know. I mean, I defended the tower from Herald, which is good, I think, I mean, obviously it's good. And the Thresh decided to run around here and give him a free kill too, nice, alright. Okay, when the Jinx starts speeding up like that, I gotta say, it gets a little bit scary. Thank god I landed that Q. That was a big Q too. Beautiful. Alright, we're actually picking it up a bit here. Beautiful. I wanna stay for this wave. There's literally no one mid lane, so I can hard push this in. Maybe even get this tower, actually. Nice. That's a good tower to break. It's also a good dragon spawning too. Would be nice to have. Devon needed to ult. I had to hold, had to hold on to my uh, CC pretty long there. I had to see how he moved, try to predict his pattern, which luckily it worked out. The Vi should have ulti the fucking Jinxster though. That was really bad that she didn't. We have to bait it. We can't start it. Definitely have to bait it though. 
This is the one really nice thing about having a Viner team. She just presses R on the AD carry like Jinx. Bro, she, what do you do? You can't get away from that. The Rally is back in the game. This Rally just seems like such a... You know those players that are just always going forward? And it, I mean, either it works or it doesn't. He seems like one of those players. Or he's like he's like a 0-20 player or a 20 no kind of player almost, you know? Actually, no. He almost has... Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I changed that. I changed that. He's, he's the kind of player that always has 20 deaths. It's just whether or not he has 20 kills as well is the question. Because he's just forward, man. He's just always charging forward. Like, doesn't matter what the situation is, he wants to go in. Yeah, we can. As much as I want, we can. <laughs> he still got his flash. That's funny. Lol. Give me that flash too, baby girl. I really want to get this. Hold that up. They were popping the fuck off, boys. Let's go. I almost have enough for my Rabidons. If I can get this Rabidons, 247 gold for Rabidons. If I can get that, I'm going to spike really hard. <laughs> That's all it takes, dude. I'll miss every single shot, but mo as long as I land one of them, eventually. Alright, to the mid lane we go, boys. To the mid lane we go. <laughs> Dude. The all attack for the finish? Never mind. GG. Yeah, oh, there you guys have it. Uh, Zerath, uh, a pretty good champion. Gotta have to play more of him now. He is, uh, yeah, he's, he's pretty good. All right, guys, for this game, we're gonna be playing Zed in the mid lane, facing what looks to be a Vladimir. Now, we have a Twitch Smurf on our team, and of course, we have Cannon top lane, so we have some AP damage coming in, and Cannon, I honestly think, is just an absolutely disgusting champion, so I'm feeling pretty good about this game. They have no real peel for the Kaelin either, so yeah, feeling pretty good. Let's focus up, let's win, let's go. I'll be honest, I'm not a huge fan of this invade. I don't think our level one's good at all. I'm happy with that. Hell yeah. I'm perfectly happy with that. I'm gonna reset. Who got the first blood? The pike. Damn. Hey, that's good too. I wanna miss some CS, unfortunately. And experience. That's the only bad part. Ah, fuck. I should've reset a little bit faster, maybe. I don't know. Hopefully, I don't miss anything. Please. I want to not miss anything. Please. No, I'm gonna miss it. Oh my god, I'm gonna miss so much. That's so bad. I guess Vladimir as well. That's really bad. But hopefully, it's fine. Such a bait. Such a bait to the Udyr. Yeah, the Udyr was down there the whole time. The Vladimir was trying to bait us so hard. I ain't falling for that shit, homie. Get the hell out of here. Ha! <laughs> this guy thinks I want to fall for that. Hell no. Hmm. How's top lane going? Kind of going so-so, it seems like. I mean, I guess Poppy's just not broken? I don't know. Our late game is pretty nasty, but they have Vladimir, so it's hard to say which is better. But Twitch late game is like 1v9. Especially if you're good on Twitch. Did I not need to ult? Wait, was he actually dead to my ignite? No way. Was my ignite actually going to kill him? Yo, this guy needs to be careful. Wait, was my ignite actually going to kill him? I'm so sad if it was. Wait, this Zen is strong as fuck. I didn't realize he could do that much damage. Jesus. That's no joke.
That's a yikes. Oh, okay. Well, that's a little unfortunate. They just got a decent amount of gold there. Okay. I think Twitch is being way too aggressive on the tower. Like, the poppy just went ham. Yeah, it might have been a bad force because our Zen was actually doing dragon. There's no reason to force two things on the map. If Zen's doing dragon, no reason to force top. If Zen's not doing dragon, then maybe we can force top with Zen or some shit, you know? But yeah, it's, it's usually a bad idea to try and force two things on two complete sep separate part of the maps. Unless you're just, like, in incredibly ahead. Gotta go, boys. Sorry. Ha. I did my job. Now I gotta go. If I let my combo on Kaylin there, I actually would have killed her. I got a lot of gold there, so that's really good. I need a Black Cleaver and Last Whisper ASAP. I wanna go for Black Cleaver first, because I wanna be a little bit tanky as well against this team comp. But this is why I don't go Triple Lethality. If I want Triple Lethality, I ain't doing shit to anyone other than maybe Kaylin. And that's like the only person I'll do damage to. I should think, yeah, this guy has no armor either. Don't flash for Nautilus, boys. Baron, dude. What the fuck are we doing? Baron, boys. I need a last whisper so badly. So badly. Wait, maybe I can get Kaylin if she is around here somewhere. You know what, I'm gonna reset. There's words. She'll see me when I come in completely, so yeah. I'm not gonna waste my time or risk anything stupid. I'm just gonna reset. It's a nice dragon spawning too, actually. Apparently we were fighting. It's the champion that doesn't have to build damage, but does damage. Get me out! I don't wanna fight her, please. Twitch is dead, that's a little unfortunate, actually. Ain't no stopwatch gonna save you, girl. Ain't no stopwatch gonna save you, girl. <laughs> it's Nautilus, dude. Holy shit, this guy's serious. <laughs> this guy's flashing in and everything. Okay. Nice, GG's. Alright, guys, for this game, we're playing Xerath in the mid lane, and we are going to be facing an Orianna. Our uh, AD carry actually is a Lucian one trick, and his Lucian got taken. I literally, ne I never see anyone take Lucian. This is the first game in so long I've seen a Lucian, and of all the games, it's when we have an AD carry that mains Lucian. A little bit unlucky, but Zarath is also, or rather, Ezreal is also quite good. So yeah, let's focus up, boys. Let's win. Let's go. Let's do it. These guys just got absolutely played. Like, straight up, just got played. Absolutely played by me and Lee Sin there. Oh, baby girl. I can't believe Zarath actually went for that flash on me. Like, bro, you ain't gonna get that flash. Because I have flash, too. Like, you know, it's like, you never should go for those if you know the other person has flash. Like, what's the point? Like, okay, we trade flashes, sure, I guess. But is that really worth it? Come here, bitch. Try pussy. Better back that ass up. I almost feel bad for her at that point. Like, <laughs> this is why I love Zarath, man. Just chill in the back, and like you can wait for the good moments to come to you. You know, the second they come to you, you just go ham, and then you can follow up so nicely. Granted, again, Zarath is this all skill shots, which is obviously a little bit difficult. Man, if you land the skill shots, this champion is seriously insane.
Yeah, look at that. Just set those plays up, baby. We just set those plays up. I fucking love this champion. I should have healed. My bad. Dead. Peace. I should have healed the... Uh, I, I don't know. I feel like he still would have died, honestly. I think he still would have died. Yeah, he still would have died. No way. No way. That Renekton has a lot of damage. He's pretty fed. So... Wait, he's one in... Wait, what the fuck? He's... He, how the hell did he get top tower when he's... What? I'm gonna go ahead and flash. Half HP delusion. See, these guys have no chance to siege anymore. Like, they literally just can't... Dead. Peace! Auto attack for the kill! Fuck. <laughs> Dude! Yo! What, what is he doing? <laughs> maybe he thinks I can't land it? I mean... Maybe he sees me playing Zerath and he's like, There's no way this guy knows how to play Zerath. Oh, my friend. Look at this, just... Just constantly barraging them. From so far away. Yo, what's up? You want some too? No problem. Hey, have some. It's all you, baby. Yep, 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 yep. Oh! Oh! Damn. Fucking Kha'Zix really with the flank? He was actually here ready to flank that. I'm so sad. This Lucian has no mana. Like, literally, what do you do at this point as Lucian? Maybe he has flash. No, he has no flash. Okay. Oh my god! I, I cannot believe Kha'Zix was actually waiting for that there. Fuck. What is this? Ezreal, hello? He's literally under the... What the fuck? Dude, we need to just literally 5v5 right here, right now. Really? Only Baron? That's kind of risky. Yo, stop reacting, you pussy. Come here, huh? You running? Huh? Better be running. I'm flashing for that ass. I don't give a fuck. Fuck this Renekton. Okay. I threw a W over there. I thought he'll flash or E over. He didn't. So, I'm flashing. I'm killing that Renekton. After all those, yo, fuck that. I'm flashing over and I'm... And I'm yeah, we're gonna come. Ain't happy with a Renekton that was like... One in four. Just like literally one-shotting somebody. What, what? That doesn't make any sense. Something about that seems a little bit weird. No, please, I want to live! Nah, whatever, GG. Either way, I think that was a pretty good demonstration of Zarath and just how uh, disgusting the champion can be. Pretty good demonstration, if I do say so myself. Alright guys, that's gonna be this episode. There you have it, sitting on Masters 152 LP at the very moment, which if I do say so myself, isn't too bad. We're only one or two wins away from being in Grand Masters as well. Actually, we can double check it exactly right now for Grand Masters. How much LP do I need to get? <laughs>